Yeah, with this episode, I want to share with uh, everyone some of the challenges we've had expanding to the US. I want you guys to meet some of the amazing team members we've got over there, you know, who each and every day look after our customers and their businesses. And hopefully that'll encourage some entrepreneurs out there to scale their business to the US. And alternatively, it might be useful for people who want to work out in the US. I hope you enjoy the episode. So Jason, how, how often do you have to come out to the States? Uh, at least once a month, mate. At least once, once a month. month, yeah. Make sure everyone's cooking on gas, make sure the message is there, make sure everyone in the office is switched on, make sure they're all up to, up to speed with what's happening in the UK. Yeah. You know, the US is exciting, it's fast start up. Last month alone, they grew by 25%, it's nuts. Uh, the market's massive. Uh, things move really fast and restaurant technology and payments technology seems to be a little bit more advanced. Obviously there's more behind on shipping pin and things, but when it comes to the restaurant processes, all the applications, there's a lot going on here and it's a really good place to learn about technology and take some of that back to the UK. It's phenomenal. Welcome to Orlando guys. Heading to the office. About a five minute walk? About a five minute walk to the office. So the Chase Plaza is like where down in the middle of downtown where all the bars and nightclubs are. And to be honest, that's where people want to be. They want to be where the action is. You know, not everyone does, but the type of people that we want to attract, you know, like young, hungry salespeople, you know, that's that's exactly where they want to be. So picking the right location can really make or break your business. When you're downtown, the transport links are better, you've got higher pool talent to draw from. You know, so it certainly makes sense. And do people really want the additional cost of, of traveling to an obscure location and office? Oh, true. You know, and, and, and the more the business builds up, like now I think we've got 39, 40 employees here, 40 team members. So when you've got that many, when, when you got that many people, the office costs re get absorbed. That's not your biggest cost. You know, the office might cost you 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars a month to run, but your salary bill is going to be probably 10 times that. Right. So having a nice office becomes easily absorbed, you know, once you get a bit of scale. Getting good staff, which we have luckily got some really good team members, has been difficult. And that's, um, and without the good office, I think that would have been very difficult. So we made a really good, we made a good decision there in, in, in picking the right place. The right, when we landed in Orlando, went to Universal Studios and Disney, there was just something about it that just reminded us a bit of a more of a high-tech Norwich. The, this, this compared to Miami and San Francisco, like this would be the place to start. Literally left me in a hotel um, for like what was about like five months, I think it took to kind of find the office. So I was, I, we didn't get a realtor or anything. So I was literally walking around all these buildings you see here. Um, have you got office space? Have you got office space? Like finding like the requirements and, and, and just like literally going out every weekend as well, having fun. I was here on my own for five months, didn't have anyone. So I literally, Monday to Friday, look at offices, line up like interviews for offices, etc. And then Friday and Saturday, go out, explore the nightlife, explore the local environment, go, go and do different things. And after five months, we found this office. And to begin with, I was like, I was doing like some of the most random jobs you've ever seen. Cause it was just me and Dave here. So we had the office downstairs. We were going to Ikea, like buying like random desks and things like that. And um, the first ever interview we ever conducted was uh, these, uh, me and Dave were in these two uh, desks just sat side by side in the center of this room. There was nothing else in there apart from a plant in the corner. There was just me, me and him sat side by side and these poor people just had to walk through and there was like one chair sat in front of us and we were sat there like something off The Apprentice or something like that and these guys just had to come through, nothing in this office at all apart from a plant and us two. I remember my interview with uh, Jason years ago, I remember walking up that estate agents, there's like 10 people there, there's kids just dropping systems, like where, where am I, on Prince of Wales Road and, and I, rem I remember that day he actually said to me, he said word for word, he's like well, one day this business will be in America and I'm like Obviously, I just just met the guy and um, didn't know him sort of too well. I was like, it didn't take me long to like just just see that then. I, I believed him like one hundred percent, and that growth and the journey that the business has taken from. I was like, 
want to be involved 100%. Went for my interview and stuff like that, and it was in this this kind of three-story building on Prince of Wales Road, and three-inch gaps between the floorboards and stuff like that, and you're just like, well, this is new. Um, but, you know, the first time I met him and he kind of outlined what his goals were for it and stuff like that, you know, I saw something there, and, you know, here I am sort of, you know, three and a half, four years later, um, and, and it's still the same as it ever was. Like, you know, we just had a, a debriefing, you know, kind of an hour ago, and it's like what his next phase of the plan is. And, you know, I'm just sat there on the edge of my seat, and I'm just like, you know, this guy's going to deliver all this. Like, this, this sounds fantastic. This is what I want to be a part of. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. Thank Cheers, Thanks, Thank you, man. Good. Office looks good, look. Parcel machine. Great for golf. Christopher Alvarez. Um, I've been here for three weeks now. This is the first time I've worked for a company like this. It's totally different, a total different atmosphere, and I'm loving every second of it here. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to go to the UK. You know, Jason called me up and be like, "Hey, Chris, come over here. I'll be right over there for anything." Yeah. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. No problem. My name is David Shalhoub, and uh, I'm an IT specialist at EPOS now. I feel like I'm best friends with my manager. Where, where else can you really go to where you're playing basketball and you know, you, you get a sale, you get to play against your manager. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's a great business, it's a great company. Um, but at the same time, you know, there, there are days where you, you don't like waking up as early as you do and, and, and you know, coming into work. But my experience at EPOS now has been a, a blessed one, it's been a great one, and it's one I, I'll take with me for life. It's, they've given me a great opportunity here and I'm, I'm truly grateful for it. I appreciate it, thank you my man. EPOS now. Okay. So we're just taking some guys out from the team for lunch. You're the you're the only you're the only kind of admin admin-ish kind mm -hmm. of side of the business here in the yeah. US. So how do you kind of fit in? Because obviously out there it's a completely different world. It's crazy. You've got guys playing basketball, yeah. ping pong and, and all that stuff. A, how does it feel to be your position here? Um, but B, do you still feel that you're part of the journey even though you're doing a slightly different, taking a slightly different route compared to the guys out there? Um, yeah, it's definitely, obviously it's a little bit different because I am in here and I am in like administrative role, but I absolutely love it. Like again, I don't think that it, it could have been a better fit um, I love the culture. I love, you know, the employees. Like we all like to have a good time together. It's nice to be around so many like like-minded people that, you know, see the journey, like see what this company is and really actually want to like do some hard work and put in the work to actually get there. Uh, being here for a month, uh, means you've met Jason w once or twice before? Uh, I've met him three times. Three times, okay. Yeah. How did that go? <laughs> <laughs> the how interview or the... <laughs> I would say, I mean, the, uh, the other encounters were definitely better because, you know, it's not as formal. Um, it's really great. I mean, I think he's an awesome person. Um, and the company's awesome. And it's so great to be able to have access to your CEO and, and really be able to, obviously, I get to know like I get to learn more about him and know him personally, like the more that he comes to visit and, and you know, our relationship will grow. But just to be able to like really understand like the journey of the company and like how far it's come and, and to really see like where we're going. Like it's, it's awesome to always have like a reminder and a refresher of that and that's always what he does, you know. Yeah, so all the, all the meetings done, Orlando's done. Looking forward to getting back to the office, getting some work in. Friday, straight back to the office. Really good vibe then this time, wasn't it, Sha? Super good. Such a great office to be a part of. And that's the thing, right? They had their best month ever. They're going off the back of their best month ever. So, uh, so the vibe's really good. Everyone's on point. Everyone's having a good time. Loads of partners want to work with us. They've got massive growth going on. Uh, it's really exciting. It's supposed to feel so good that we built such a great environment. Really excited for the future there. I'll come out again in the next couple of weeks, line up loads of appointments to see the guys. So just really impressed with what they're 
been able to build. So well done to Dave, Jules, Laurie, uh, Edna, Ryan, and the rest of the guys there. It's brilliant. Really pumped.